you would have seen that the gas analyzer read out the concentrations in parts per million. However, South African legislation requires us to report in milligrams per normal cubic meters. And so we need to know how to convert from parts per million into milligrams per normal cubic meter. I am going to take you through the calculations on this whiteboard over here. And then after all of that, I am going to give you the summarized form of the calculation that's really quick and easy. So try not to get overwhelmed by the various calculations that will go on. They're important to know for background and to know where the short calculation comes from. But ultimately, when you're working on site, all you need to know is the shortened summarized version of the equation. All right, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is define what we mean by parts per million. When we talk about parts per million, we are talking about how many moles of pollutant are in one million moles of total gas. So let's use an example of sulfur dioxide. Let's say that we have measured 200 parts per million ppm. What that actually means is that in 1 million moles of total gas, we have 200 moles of sulfur dioxide. What we want to do when we're converting from ppm to milligrams per normal cubic meter is break this equation up into two parts. We're going to look at the top and the bottom separately. We know that we want to get milligrams per normal cubic meter and so that means we're going to want to convert the top into milligrams and we're going to want to convert the bottom into normal cubic meters. All right, let's first work with the top of the equation. When we have moles and we want to convert it into a mass, what we do is we use the molar mass of the pollutant in question. In this case, the molar mass of sulfur dioxide is 64 grams per mole. All right, so we have taken 200 moles, multiplied it by 64 grams per mole. This means that we can cancel out the moles and we are left with grams. However, we want milligrams. So we can add another term on here. We know that there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram. We cancel out the grams and we're left with milligrams. So 200 moles of SO2 is equal to 200 multiplied by 64 multiplied by 1,000 milligrams of SO2. So that's the first part of our equation done. Now we look at the bottom of this equation. 10 to the 6 moles of gas, so a million moles of gas, and we want to convert that into normal cubic meters. How we do that is we use the ideal gas law. P V equals N R T. Now I'm going to take you back to high school science over here. Our P is for pressure, our V is for volume, N is moles, R is our constant, and T is for temperature. We have the number of moles and we want to get the volume of gas what we can do is rearrange this equation to give, give us volume. V equals NRT over our pressure, P. As discussed, we already have N. We know that it's 1 million, 10 to the 6. We already have R, that's a constant, 8.314. Now we need our temperature and pressure. Keep in mind that the volume that we want is normal cubic meters. Normal cubic meters are, by definition, at a temperature of 273 Kelvin and 101.3 kilopascals, or 1,300 pascals. So we can now insert those into our equation.
Okay, so we have now calculated the top of this equation, we've converted it into milligrams, and we've calculated the bottom, we've converted it into normal cubic meters. Now we want to combine those two. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation over here, so 200 times by 64 times by 1,000, and we are going to divide it by 10 to the 6 times by 8.314 times by 273. Uh, over 1,100. Okay, what we see immediately is that we can cancel out some numbers. So we can cancel out this uh, 1,000 with this 1 million, that will give us 10 to the 3 over here. Um, and essentially, if we do this calculation over here, it is going to give us 22.4. That's the number. We can keep these on top. 200 times by 64. And that's what we end up with. And this is the shortened version of the equation. So you can see we have got the original uh, PPM that we were working with, in this case 200. We have got the molar mass of the gas we were working with, 64 for SO2, and we've got the number 22.4. So although there are all these calculations to get to this result, essentially all that we need to remember when we are converting parts per million into milligrams per normal cubic meter is to multiply by the molar mass and to divide by 22.4. That will work in every situation, no matter what gas you're using.